all been there. Something happens to your iPhone and then you realize at that moment, way too late, that the last time you backed it up was six months ago. All those photos, all the videos, everything is gone. Now there's a way to avoid this, of course, and that's by using daily backups. Now you can do that through iCloud and have it automatically backed up there. Uh, it can get a little pricey after a certain amount of time, uh, but I actually have a video that you can check out below for uh, other ways to back up daily to say Google Photos or another bunch of uh, different services like that. But what if you want to back up locally? In other words, on a hard drive that is say in your house or in your office and not in the cloud where maybe somebody could find it, etc., etc. Well, it turns out there are actually some products out there that not only can back up locally to a hard drive, but also can do so seamlessly without you having to think about it. So I scoured the web for a bunch of them, ordered them, and tested them out. And here are four that I thought were pretty interesting and you could maybe check out. So first up, a name that you're probably familiar with, Western Digital. The WD MyCloud Home external drive is a relatively inexpensive drive that you can plug into your router at home, download the app on your iPhone, and set it up. While setting it up using the app, you can choose to automatically have the iPhone back up all of its photos and videos to the hard drive. You turn that on, turn on background uploading so that it can upload without the app needing to be open constantly, and then I turn on cellular backup so it'll do so even if I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. Now, if you have a lot of photos or videos though, you might wanna leave this off so it only backs up using Wi-Fi and doesn't run up your data plan. Now after that, you can open the app and see a folder for your iPhone camera roll backup, and in there, you'll see all of your photos and videos. Once you confirm they're there, you can delete them from your phone if you need to free up space. Although, again, I suggest checking out that video I mentioned at the link below before you do that, just in case. Or just leave it, and every time you take a photo, it'll back everything up for you. Now the WD app also has integrations with social networks, Plex, and other services should you wanna be able to back those up as a bonus automatically. The four terabyte model is just $180, which is a ton of space, but you can even go all the way up to eight terabytes for only $300. Check it out at the links below. Next up, another popular name in storage. This is the Lacey Fuel wireless storage device. Now this item can be hard to find, but you can still get it on Amazon at the link below, for example, but regardless, it's worth taking a look at. Similar to the WD drive, this allows you to connect your iPhone or other devices for that matter, wirelessly to the hard drive and using an app, you can select to have it automatically back things up whenever the two devices are on and connected to the same Wi-Fi network. You enable this by going into settings, auto backup once it's connected. After that, you can leave it connected to your home Wi-Fi. Whenever your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi, you're all set. The unique thing about the Lacey Fuel versus the WD My Cloud is that unlike the My Cloud, it's portable. No need to have it stay plugged in via the AAC cable. You can take it with you and connect it easily via USB 3.0 or Wi-Fi, either directly or over any Wi-Fi network if you connect them both to the same one. It'll last about 10 hours on a single charge and beyond just storing and backing up photos and videos, it also supports AirPlay so that you can stream content from it if you have an AirPlay enabled TV or Mac without needing the phone. Not sure how much I'd actually use that, but it's a nice bonus. Now, because of the portability, it is a bit more expensive than the WD My Cloud, but still reasonable. You can get the one terabyte version, for example, on Amazon for about 180 or so. Again, links below. Now, both those options are too expensive. May I suggest the Mobile Light Wireless G3 instead. This little guy has some similarities to the Lazy Fuel in that it is totally portable with a built-in battery. You can also connect to it via Wi-Fi and using the app. You can easily set it up so that it'll automatically back up all of your photos and videos from your iPhone to storage on the device. You can stream from it using the built-in app, etc., like you can with the other storage solutions on this list. But in addition to that, you can even plug in your iPhone into it and use it as a portable power bank to charge the iPhone using the built-in 5400 milliamp battery. Now, it's only $25. So, what's the catch? Well, it doesn't actually have a hard drive or storage of any kind internally. Instead, it has a USB port that you can plug in a USB drive to use that for storage, or an SD card into the SD card slot to use that as well. Now, even though that means you do have to buy one of those in order to use it for a backup, you can utilize the USB port to connect a hard drive or SD card that you might already have and give them the ability to be used as an automatic backup. Now, you can also grab a cheap USB drive like this one terabyte one for $50 that I linked below. 
uh, and just use that always connected as well. Regardless though, if that's something you're into, you can check it out here at the links below. And finally, while the other options on this list are more general wireless storage solutions, this is very specific to backing up your iPhone locally while you sleep. This is the SanDisk iExpand base. Now it's a custom base with an anti-slip top that you can plug into the wall and then plug in your iPhone's original power cable underneath, wrap it up to hide the long cable, and plug your phone into that when you set it down on top to charge for the night. After you set up the SanDisk app on your iPhone, it'll automatically back up all of your photos, videos, as well as contacts. And since they worked closely with Apple to create the product, you can even use the app to restore your iPhone should you need to without using iTunes. It'll also provide 15 watt fast charging for the iPhone, which is faster than your iPhone's original charger at least. Storage, similar to the Mobile Lite G3, is provided by a SanDisk, go figure, SD card that is removable. The nice thing here though is that they include the SD card, at least with the base if you want, for a little discount on the SD card. The 256 gig model, for example, is $170, but they do have other models as well, which you can check out at the link below. And there you go, four very different ways uh, that you can back up your iPhone locally to a hard drive without having to think about it. Now, if you have a ton of photos and videos and you don't mind your storage sitting in one place plugged into your router, then that Western Digital is probably your best bet because it's a lot cheaper for a lot more storage. Um, but if you want portability in some way or being able to swap out the different storage cards, etc., then all the other options are great for that. And if you want something that's a little more integrated into iOS, uh, has a very particular use case where it's gonna sit on your desk or on your nightstand and fast charger device while backing everything up and etc. It is a bit more pricey on this list, but the SanDisk iExpand base is not a bad option for that. And there you go. Hope you guys enjoy this and it helps some of you out. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you have other solutions for this, leave those in the comments as well. I'm sure other people would love to see them as would I. Uh, otherwise, also check out my newly relaunched tech blog, theunlocker.com, link below, uh, where I'm gonna do more tips and tricks and just kind of news, bunch of other fun stuff that I won't actually turn into videos. So you want to check that out, you can. Don't forget to subscribe to the email newsletter that is listed there, you'll see it. Uh, but it's a weekly thing, it's not annoying, I promise. Now like this video, if you liked it, check out the rest of the channel and subscribe there and ding the bell next door subscribe if you want to be notified when I do new videos. Otherwise though, as always, regardless, thanks for watching.